Well, hello. It's Mr. Thompson here with a math lesson in video form. We're looking at index notation. And this is the first video in a series on indices and such, such as the index laws and so forth. Um, an index uh, is also known as uh, powers or exponents. Indices are also known as powers and exponents. Okay, they uh, basically an index is when you multiply uh, the same number by itself uh, a, a, a number of times. It could be any number of times. So, for example, two times two. We're multiplying the number two by itself, and we're multiplying by itself two times. So this is equal to two squared, right? Um, we're multiplying it by itself, as I said, two times one, two, and that's why we have the two in the uh, in the index here. Okay, this here, the two squared is called index form. Um, when something is in the index form, it looks like that with a um, a number, a big number, and then a little number up and, and to the right. The big number at the bottom is called the base, and the little number uh, up and to the right is called the index, or of course the power or exponent. So, um, let's look at 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. This would be uh, we have a base of 2, we know that, that's the whatever number we're multiplying by itself is the base, okay, just like here. But um, now we have four twos, so this time the index is going to be 4. If we have 5 times 5 times 5, then the base is going to be 5, and the index or power or exponent will be a 3. Okay, pretty simple, right? Let's look at some examples of expanding and simplifying, uh, putting in an in index form. So we're going to expand. Here's two different problems. We have x to the fourth and then 3x squared y cubed. We want to expand them. What that means is write it out so it's not an index form anymore. Okay, so the first one we have, we're gonna just going to have four x's. x times x times x times x, and that is x to the fourth. Okay, with this one we have a 3, so we just get the 3. And then we've got two x's, x times x, and then three y, so times y times y times y. And there, there it is expanded. Okay. Um, sometimes we will evaluate. We'll use numbers. There's no more um, variables or pronumerals, just numbers. So we have three to the fourth and then one half squared. So three to the fourth is just three times three times three. Uh, and three times three is nine, times three is 27, times three is 81. Another way you could do that is 3 times 3 is 9, and then this 3 times 3 is 9, and 9 times 9 is 81. Um, of course, if you feel you must, you can plug these into your calculator um, and do 3 to the 4th. Um, you can do 3 times 3 times 3, or you will have some sort of exponent or uh, index button on your calculator. If it's a good scientific calculator, use your manual, and you'll find that. Okay, one half squared is uh, one half times one half, and when we multiply fractions, we do the top times the top. So one times one is one, and the bottom times the bottom. So two times two is four. So one half squared is one fourth. A couple more examples here. We're going to write this in index form. So we want to write it so it looks something like this, right, with the exponents with the numbers up here in the top. All right, so we have one, two, three x's, so that's going to be x to the third, and then we have one, two, three, four y's, so that's y to the fourth. Um, you can put a little times symbol in between if you want, but of course, uh, it's most to have it in its most simplified form, we don't bother writing the x, we just put them next to each other, and that means multiply. So there you go, index form um, coming soon. Um, index laws and some different things you can do with indices. All right, we'll see you then.